Zippers haven't changed much since they were first invented, and neither have the problems we all have with them. Here are some tips on dealing with every zipper issue. The most common problem with zippers is when they get stuck. Once you've ruled out fabric trapped in the zipper, you can try lubricating the teeth. Take a graphite pencil and rub the tip on the zipper's teeth closest to the slider. Graphite is a great dry lubricant and should help smooth things out a bit. If a pencil doesn't work, try swabbing the area with a Q-tip coated with other lubricants like petroleum jelly, bar soap, or olive oil. Then jiggle the zipper to work the lubricant into the teeth. If a zipper isn't closing properly or separates after it's zipped up, a graphite pencil may also do the trick by lubricating the teeth and smoothing out any burrs. Also, check to make sure none of the individual teeth are displaced. These can be realigned with pliers. If that doesn't work, it may be an issue with the slider, which can loosen up over time. Try closing the mouth of the slider a bit with pliers to ensure that it's catching the teeth and closing them properly. A broken zipper pull can be easily replaced with a paper clip or a key ring. If a pant zipper won't stay up, then it's probably time to replace it. In the meantime, you can prevent fly mishaps by attaching a key ring to the zipper pull and hooking it over the top button. You can remove a broken slider by snipping it off with a pair of wire cutters. A new slider can be slid back on the teeth starting at the top of the zipper on the side with a retaining box. Fold aside the top stop, slide on the new slider, and then zip it up as normal. Now you can get back to zipping.